Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You take a look at Los Angeles. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge out on the sideline. David? Hey, Kevin. Thanks, DA. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Trey Young is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Capella in at the five down low. And for Los Angeles, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Miracle Man, and it's Drummond in at the five spot. Here's Capella, and it's sent back by Drummond. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Lakers on D. Pass to Hunter over James. Well, we've seen a lot of workload adjustments for the top players in the past few years, Clark, especially, especially when it's this early in the season. Yeah, I think it, it's helpful. I'm not a huge proponent of um, just randomly picking games for guys to sit out, but I do understand managing minutes for everybody, especially guys that are going to carry a heavy load for you during the season. Hard to play better defense than that, guys. I mean, but right there, James simply overpowered it. For the Lakers, they won their last contest that game against the Kings. Young inside. Picked him clean. Pushing it up. All going up court. And finished off by LeBron. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They, right now, are searching for a bucket. And the basket is good. Boy, AD showing you how strong and willing to work he is because that was a difficult bucket there. It's Young on the wing. He had 25 points in the win against the Clippers in Los Angeles. And we got to talk about his four steals on the night. That's a complete performance at both ends of the floor. Here's Davis. And no good that time. Good work defensively by Capella. And, Clark, you, you just figured it was a matter of time before Davis started working away from the basket last season, attempting the most threes of his career. Yeah, I agree with you. That evolution of his game was something that we all could kind of forecast. And he still gets it done inside when he needs to, but he's had some injuries, and he understands being smart and efficient is just as important as being physical and tough, and he just picks and chooses his spots, and I think his perimeter shot is really good now, and I just think it's going to continue to get better with time. For Los Angeles, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. LeBron can't get it to go. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Young, no good. Los Angeles leading by four. And James with the basket on the assist by Schroeder. LeBron's got six. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. Schroeder outside. And the layup falls. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And time now, out, first timeout time called here for the Hawks. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Absolutely, especially on the road when you need those guys off the bench to up the ante. And it's a completely new group for Atlanta. Dunn right side. And the shot goes in. Dicing up the defense with his speed. Chris Dunn has extraordinary handles. 
Here's Miracle Man. Done covering. Bucket is good. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Here's Williams. It's blocked. And it's the Lakers on the break. Kuzma with the ball. Carroll kicks to Kuzma. Here's Miracle Man. Dolan are recovering. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range, the Lakers rebound. Here's Horton Tucker. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Here's Herter. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And don't sleep on Williams' ability to create for others. That's a veteran play. The Hawks shooting their first free throw of the evening. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting percentage this season. Horton Tucker, the pass to Gasol. Here's Miracle Man. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Sacramento. And the pass to Harrell. Over Gallinari. Harrell, that's good. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. The Hawks trail by seven. Gallinari outside. This is his first free throw of the game. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And guys, that's an increase in his free throw percentage um, from last year. Uh, maybe not a large one, but it is a little bit higher, so you've gotta like that progress. And, and when Gallinari is healthy, he's such an effective player. I mean, a skill shooter who really helps to space the floor for his team. They grab their own miss, Hero. Golinari with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Williams with a clean look. Oh, good on the three. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. There's the triple. Offensive rebound. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Second chance bucket. They can make a big difference. And that does it for the first quarter. Lakers ahead. They're up by four. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And we're getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. And so in the game for the Hawks, we've got Gallinari. Williams is out there with Chris Dunn. Then it's Okongwu, and it's Herter in at the three. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Mark Gasol. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Capella's checked in. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, thanks very much, Kevin. Clint Capella is a seven-footer in know. track shoes. He said, I always try to have that pace. Whenever I sprint, I have an impact on the offense. I try to focus on that and keep my energy up. Guys, guards love big men who run the floor as hard as Capella. Back to you. He is indeed, David, very athletic. Thanks. And the Lakers making a change here. James has checked in. And the second season for Trey Young, just unreal. Pulling off amazing performances at such a young age. Greg, just how good do you think he can be? You know, Kevin, Young will be viewed as a top point guard in this league for a long time. When it's all said and done, might be one of the best point guards in league history. Certainly is on his way to being one of the best shooters to ever play. Williams dishes to Young. 
three-pointer. A rebound by the Lakers. Harold's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. The defense just too soft on that possession. You have to be closer and contest at the rim. Winner passes to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his third assist on the night. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. Count it, and the Laker lead has been cut back down to eight. Those were necessary points from Young. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Here's James, and it's blocked. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Williams. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Williams has got four points this quarter. Running so smoothly. Williams saw the opening. Nothing but points for him when he gets in that position. And Davis throws it down. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. Pass to Young. Atlanta calls timeout. Now the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions, to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important, and then you got to factor in versatility. You need guys that can guard multiple positions, uh, that give you some rim protection, but obviously that can also shoot the basketball. And you, you, I think it's critical having that instant offense guy coming off the bench as well. To when your team's in a bit of a funk, somebody you can trust to kind of light a fire. Good point. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Passes to Bogdanovich, lets it go from deep, drills it from outside. Bogdanovich has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. That will complete this four-game homestand. Now here's Bogdanovich. He's guarded closely. Young outside. Now there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Here's LeBron, and Capella sends it back. Over a 7-4 wingspan for Clint Capella. That's long, folks, and makes him an intimidating shot block. Young against Schroeder. That one doesn't go. Good D by Drummond. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game, and that's helped them stake this lead. Hunter kicks to Young. The Hawks working the ball around. Pass to Hunter. Dishes to Collins. With one on the clock and the dunk by Capella. Time out, time out. Boy, Capella doing a nice job being physical and getting those second chance buckets to go. Coaches love that. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And last season for Capella wasn't that easy. Had his year cut short to injury, never got the chance to suit up with his new team in the Hawks. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Miracle Man. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And with Capella and the Hawks, both are excited for this season. And on paper, Capella seems like a great fit. Can finish inside, pairs well with John Collins and Trey Young. And Capella could be the difference maker to get this team back in the playoffs. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. 
Schroeder against Dunn. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And Dunn is spectacular on the drive, seeking contact and getting it. Even more impressive that he makes these shots, too. Here's Miracle Man, and he dunks it down. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Here's Kuzma. And it's John Collins with the rebound. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. And he gets the bucket. Dunn's got four points now in the quarter. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Sometimes, for whatever reason, a lot of times you, you don't know why. It takes a little while to work the knots out, but it looks like they're putting it together right now. Kuzma passes to Gasol. Here's Miracle Man. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. At one stretch in the opening period, they built up an eight-point lead. And, of course, the duo of Anthony Davis and LeBron James in action for the Lakers. Kenny, when's the last time there was a duo this talented? And it's just about time now for the third quarter. those of you just tuning in thanks for being with us the second half of this game still to play it's been quite a game for miracle man and how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters he has been terrific and you know what they've come at him a few different ways defensively and nothing has slowed him down lebron and davis the incredible forward pair Miracle Man is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Drummond in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the group starting the second half for Frank Vogel. Davis, the pass to James. Fires the three. Good on the triple. Miracle Man's got the lead up to 12 now for Los Angeles. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Collins dishes to Young. And it's sent back by Drummond. Not letting that one fly. Drumming using his... Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh, man! And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. Shooter passes to James. Left side, Davis. Over Collins. And it's Davis missing. The Hawks trail by 12. Now, here's Hunter. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And it's good. Two points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Floats one up, and Capella sends it back. And Drummond kicks it over to Schroeder. Now Bogdanovich. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. He gets that one. Not the best of shot selection there, but you know what? You do not look a gift horse in the mouth. Miracle man, the pass to Drummond. Look at, look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fend guys off and get those rebounds. Bogdanovich inside. He's guarded by Schroeder. Davis's anticipation and timing. So good at the defensive end. This guy is a shot blocking machine. The Hawks trail by eight. Down low. 
and it's Young. That time on the assist by Hunter. Young's got eight. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. Atlanta making some changes. Okongwu's checked in for John Collins. Alinari comes in for Hunter, and it's Williams in for Bogdanovich. On the wing, James. Here's Harrell. And that time, also a missed shot. And so it's Young who brings it up for Atlanta. They trail by six. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Greg, how special was it for you that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something that I can honestly say. As a kid, you dream about a lot of things. Winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathomed. Uh, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena, that was a surreal moment, a, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. And people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. And at the top of the key, William. He kicks it to Okongwu. Shot clock at five. And Davis sends it back. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. Atlanta making some changes. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Clint Capella. And Chris Dunn subbed in for Young. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And you could tell they had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. Here's Miracle Man. He's got 13. James, the pass to Davis. Over Gallinari. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. And Gallinari kicks to Okongwu. And the three off target. The game has been very close in a lot of areas. The rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Golinari against LeBron. There's 138 left in the third quarter. Pocket six. Here's Herter. And he lays it straight in. Herter's got seven. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Williams against James. Harold trying to free himself up. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity time every time down the floor when he's that high. Atlanta calls timeout. You look at James. What a contribution. And he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket. Los Angeles making a switch here. Kuzma's checked in and a change for the Hawks. Collins checked in for Kevin Herter. Done outside. There's 57 seconds left to play in the third. Baseline try, and James pulls it down. James has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Davis, and Davis throws it down. Well, you describe AD's games, and you start running out of superlatives. I mean, when this guy is healthy, he dominates in a different fashion, but in similar ways to Tim Duncan. And Williams throws it down. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. Takes it from 10. Here's Harold. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
It's going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for the Hawks. Williams passes to Collins. Can't get it to fall. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Just rubbing it in their faces with that gun. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming, and that they may not have an answer for it. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Lakers lead by 10. Live. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Fourth quarter on the court for the Hawks. Reese. They've got Hunter. John Collins is out there. Gallinari. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's done in at the one spot. Lakers leading by 10. Here's Miracle Man. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Collins against Drummond. Collins passes to Young. And stolen by Kuzma. Here's Miracle Man. Traps in the tray. Miracle Man's got 12 points here in the second half. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for Los Angeles. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been an attack mode on the defensive end. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. The Hawks trail by 15. Let's it go with a three. The Lakers with the rebound. Drummond's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And, you know, when he came into the league, Gasol's weakness was thought to be defense. But now, one of the NBA's premier post defenders. Atlanta calls timeout. Hey, Greg, if you could coach one team right now, who would it be? Whew, that's a... Uh, that's a tough one. Clippers, Lakers, Roof, Bucks. Uh, you know what? I, I would probably go Lakers or Bucks because you would have an opportunity to coach someone who arguably might be considered the best to ever play the game because I think Giannis is trending in that direction and LeBron obviously already is. How about a guy like uh, Kemba Walker and coaching the Celtics having him to do what you want to do on the floor? He'd be brilliant. And, and yeah. Kimball, one of the most underrated leaders in our game. Great, great human being. And so he makes both from the line. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. 17-point game. Collins kicks to Hunter. Rebound Andre Drummond. For Los Angeles, they've gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. All sorts of time. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Pat Donovich wide open. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got three assists tonight. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Here's Miracle Man. That one wide left. The Hawks trail by 14. A three from Bogdanovich. Can't get it to go. He's made four and just missed his fourth. 
Good work defensively by Capella. For Atlanta, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. And that one timeout, drops. Timeout. Young's got nine points now in just the Garden. second half. You gotta like seeing this from Young. Wanting to prove he's more than just a jump shoot. And the Lakers call time here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening, guys. The Hawks trail by 14. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Young's shot is off. The Lakers have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Here's Miracle Man. Here's Davis. Good, and the assist goes to James. And the Lakers lead by 16. Setting the table for his teammates, James. Enjoy sharing and passing the ball and getting others involved, I think, more than any other aspect of his game. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Alinari, he's checked in for Atlanta. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. And the dunk by Capella. You just can't leave anyone open around Young. He's very capable of spotting his uncovered teammates. But they get it back. Here's Davis from down in the low post. It goes. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. That's good from Capella. You know, he was born in Switzerland, guys. Clint Capella's had quite the journey to NBA stardom. I mean, started his pro career in France, and he was a late first-round pick in 2014. To the middle. In chain shot, and it's Schroeder missing. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. But that one goes. Count it. Bogdanovich has got eight points here in this quarter. You know, such a selfless player. I love how Young stays consistent in how he involves his teammates. Miracle Man, they recover it. Drummond passes to Miracle Man. Drummond trying to get himself free. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. The Hawks trail by 12. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Lakers. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. You know what? It was a team that was in sync and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And guys, being in opposite conferences, these teams only meet twice a year. And when it's been a while since you've seen a team like this it always feels good to take that first game of the season series that's what they've done here tonight against the Hawks and one of the key components to this victory if not the biggest was the incredible performance for Anthony Davis well I can't recall a play that he wasn't involved in he was so involved in so many plays tonight a force on both ends and it's a completely new group for Los Angeles Lakers First one falls for him. You know, being drafted number five overall, Dunn's faced a lot of high expectations in his young career. Um, certainly has the physical tools to meet most of those, and I believe he will. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Caldwell Pope. Dunn with some nice D. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Trailing by 10. Atlanta again missing. And here's Matthews. Kuzma, left side. Over Okongwu. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Misses there. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they start... All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Craig Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you.